hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is brianna and as you can see by the title i will be talking about obedience the importance of obedience how do you know if you're being obedient how do you know if you're walking in disobedience all of the gist about that okay because god has been calling a lot of us to do a lot of things and a lot of us are kind of scared fearful of walking in it because we might not think it's god or we don't know if it's ourselves. we don't know if it's the enemy we're kind of confused of on hearing the voice of God. And if you don't know if it's God speaking to you, then it's kind of hard to obey God if you don't know if he's the one who's talking from someone else. So I wanted to speak on that topic. Obedience is something that God has really been dealing with in me for the past few months. It has not even for the past few. Well, I guess it, it can be for the past few months. I struggled a lot with obeying God's voice because I didn't really know what was coming from God and what was just coming from me. And let me tell you, not everything that you don't want to do is coming from God because I I would go, like I would ask people or I would search up, how do you know if it's God? And a lot of times people would say, well, if you don't want to do it, then that's a big indicator. Like if you don't want to do it and it aligns with the word of God, but that's not always the case. I don't want to do a lot of things and some things that go along with the word of God, but it still wasn't God. You know, one thing about the enemy, he can dress things up. And that's why you have to have discernment and wisdom as well. So you God have you believe that God has told you to do some things for a while, but you're questioning and you're kind of doubting if it's truly was God or maybe it was you. Maybe you feel like God has called you to like start a business or make a friendship a certain way, go to a certain church or write a book or move, anything or go in that relationship, break up with that person. It doesn't matter what it is. And you're scared to make a move because you're wondered if it was God. See, a lot of times we, we kind of, we kind of um, get lost in what is right versus what is wrong because we're so much focusing on the sacrifice i know god had called me something called me to i believed god had called me to do something that was very very big and it was life altering life changing and what kept pressing on my heart was wow i'm giving up a lot of these things i'm making so much sacrifice for a lot of this and then a lot of that and but i was also focusing on the obedience i was like okay I need to obey God. I need to do this and I need to do, and I need to do that because obedience is better than sacrifice. I didn't realize how much I was emphasizing sacrifice though because I thought that if I didn't do this, okay, that would be me kind of not obeying God and just focusing on the sacrifice. But in um in hindsight, I believe that me walking into that was actually me focusing on the sacrifice because when things weren't going as well I as well as I thought, I was like, oh, well, I sacrificed so much and I sacrificed this and I sacrificed that. And that is not the right heart posture. So first of all, you just have to already submit your feelings to God. Submit how you, you think it should go. Submit how, whatever it might be. Because as I said, a lot of times we struggle with obedience is because we don't know if it's God. And we also struggle with obedience because we don't trust God. So just surrender everything even the thing that you think that god is telling you surrender it all and go back to the word of god as god god reveal to me what you want me to do through the word of god and a lot of us we lack a lot of discernment and wisdom we might have discernment but it's like covered through trauma um through our past through fears through doubt so it's hard for us to truly discern with the voice of god with the word of god because we're discerning with our own feelings and our own emotions and one thing is discernment discerns good and bad not just bad a lot of us we just discern bad things and that's not that's not fully what discernment is so we have to ask god god give me true discernment and wisdom to make good judgment in this situation where God was calling me to do, I didn't have good judgment. I didn't, like, I thought that it was God. It sounded like God. It matched up with the word of God. I, I knew that it wasn't me because I didn't really want to do this thing. But I also, it, there was a lot of confusion, but there's also was a hint of peace. It was very chaotic. And sometimes it can be very hard to kind of discern because our... Our, us being uncomfortable can feel like there's no peace but it's just us being uncomfortable and it's, it has nothing to do with the peace 
and us like idolizing the situation can also cause chaos and if if we're not surrendering it to god that can also cause chaos as well but there are some things that god's gonna call you to do and it's gonna seem like it makes no sense like you're it's gonna make you kind of feel like you're confused like why would you call me to do this it doesn't why but one thing we know that if you're not i'm um, sure if it's god and you seek counsel and everything like that and you still you're not sure but you believe that it's god just walk a lot of times we're paralyzed in decision making we're paralyzed and one thing we're focusing so heavy on we want god to literally pick us up and bring us there but we have to also walk in trust and knowing that if even if we make the wrong decision, God's going to direct our steps because he's the author and our finisher of our faith. He makes he works everything out for our good. Like God sees it before you even see it. So you're going to have to take that walk. And along that walk, God's going to speak to you and direct you. It wasn't until Abraham actually started moving. God started giving him more direction. All God told him was get up I'll go and go to the land that I will show you. God didn't say get up. I will show you the land that I'm bringing to you. No, he said, get up, go to that land. Abraham didn't even know that land yet, but God knew. But he's like, I will show it to you as you're moving. So sometimes you just have to obey what, um, after testing it and everything like that, just obey and walk in it. And God will reveal as like as much as you need to know along the way and if it's not then god's going to direct you right in the right path but you have to submit to him there's going to be fruits in where god's calling you there's going to be open doors he's not going to bring you to a place where you're suffering starving and you're dying and there's no help at all that's that is i mean Eli, um, elijah god told him to go to a certain place and then the ravens will come and feed him but it was through that place that he had to go to at that specific time and everything like that for the raven to for his provisions to show up but just trust that god is leading you wherever he's leading you he's gonna bring forth provision and if you're in that place and you see wow god is not here guys haven't then you go back and check with him god did i miss something did i hear something wrong and definitely make sure that you're seeking wise counsel and but don't be stuck in fear not moving because even in this situation where i didn't completely get it right i i obeyed god or i obeyed um i thought it was god and i obeyed it and even through it god worked it so perfectly in my like for my good i like i learned so much um my trust and my faith grew and everything like that but you're not going to learn if you're just sitting stuck for years after years. You're like, God, is that you? God, is not you? You would already know if it was God if you already actually start moving in that direction. And I'm not saying to just carelessly do it. As I said, after you've done everything and you see, okay, I'm still kind of, then you made that step. But your obedience is buried in your sacrifice. And in First Samuel, we should know that more than anything because um Saul sacrificed and he thought his sacrifice was so much better he did not obey God when God told him that to only the priests could do the um the offering and he just did it anyway and he just made a lot of sacrifices but in the day he wasn't obedient so God did not honor it he God took him from being king so if you god's not gonna punish you if he, he he sees truly in your heart that you wanted to follow him he see that you truly tried everything he see that you truly wanted to be a good steward of what he's saying you to do he's not going to struck you down and stop talking to you and you don't have to be paralyzed but now we're trying to we, a lot of times when we don't move we don't obey because we're trying to figure out every single thing how are you going to do this god how we're trying to be god in the situation that god is trying to tell us to do we're trying to get the beginning and the end from the beginning. We don't need faith if that's the case. You wouldn't need God. If you knew exactly how everything will play out, you would not need God. Because why would you need God? You know it for yourself. It would be hard for, for you to even want to trust God. Like we will become lazy in our faith, in our walk. Because why am I reading this? Why am I trusting this if I already know how it's going to work out? So obey it and... Um, Fasting definitely help as well because sometimes there's strongholds that's holding us from walking in God's purpose, things, fear, trauma, and all these things. We're scared that God's going to let us down and all these things. Ask God to reveal himself to you in this season. Ask God to show show you who you are, who he's called you to be, your anointing, your giftings, your talents, and all these things. But not 
you praying to God to God to help you out of that situation when God has already told you what to do, that's on you. Because God already gave you the blueprint. He already told you what to do and how and how to do it. But you're so scared you you're you're not you're not making a move. And obviously the enemy can try he can come in and give us fear and confusion and doubt and make us not trust God because certain things are happening and all these things. And I'm not saying to be in a dangerous situation, but you know God will never ask you what if He's not going to say what if because he knows exactly what it is. God's going to be direct. God's going to be like, I called you here. I didn't call you there. Um, wait here. He's going to be very direct. The enemy likes to ask questions when he's, because that's how he's going to have you to think um, different things. Like, what if you fail? What if God didn't call you here? Um, you're doing this and this because God didn't say this. Like, he's going to talk like a third person. Like, like a friend that's just hating on you he's gonna ask a bunch of questions so you can question yourself you're gonna be like what if god didn't ask me he's like and the enemy will be like do you really think that you are equipped to do this do you really think that god's gonna come through for you he's gonna s s ask you these manipulative questions and the the way that he phrases is um the way that he talks it's gonna make you think oh you're right maybe i'm not qualified for this maybe i'm not the way that he talks already is just like there's no confidence is it is just wanting to question you and your flesh you're gonna be like dang i'm so used to this i don't want to go to try something else dang i'm so used to this um what if it doesn't work out or dang that doesn't make sense to me so i can't do it but god's gonna be like hey i have prepared you hey i qualify the call i didn't I called the no. I qualified the call. I did not quali call the qualify. God's gonna say, "Hey, trust in me. Be strong and courageous. I'm with you. I will never for leave nor forsake you. I didn't give you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love." But God's always gonna be something to uplift you. The enemy's gonna bring something to question you, to doubt you, and your flesh will always tell you things of it's gonna be limited. Your flesh gonna ask questions that's very limited, like, "Dang, I don't know if I can do that," or "Dang." Um, I can't see how that's going to work out. Like your flesh is not going to understand because it's going to be talking based on your emotions. And we know that emotions are not a good leader. Okay. But what is it, God? What is it that God is calling you to do in this hour? What is it? And you know, don't be, sometimes it's scary for us to be obedient because of something that's happened in the past. We thought God called us to do something, but he didn't. So now we have trauma. Now we have trust issues. Now we're scared to move don't allow pride to allow you because that's still pride because you think that you're so you have to be so perfect all, at all times that you're not gonna mess up like deep down it's pride dressed as humility like no go back to god ask god to heal you ask god to take away that memory that scar whatever it might be but don't get stuck because you're scared of messing up how you messed up in the past because you're still here god has given you grace and mercy he's still giving you a chance he's still seeking you out he's still there for you sometimes it's our mindset our mindset is one of the greatest weapon bro a lot of our issues come from our mind and our limit just our limited mindset a lot of our issues come from and if it wasn't our minds so crippling with fear, we are allowing fear to come in, we would be so much fearless being able to do whatever God is calling us to do. So go back before God. At the end of the day, you need God to do these things. You need Don't try to do it on your own and talk to wise counsel. Put it back with the word of God. And truly i think it's definitely fast but a lot of us we're not preparing ourselves in each season you have to prepare yourself and really seek god and not on yourself and when i say prepare it just means that what season are you in are you preparing for that season so you can be ready for your season that god is calling you to do because one thing you don't want to do is rush your season and not being prepared for what god's calling you and then you end up fumbling the bag 